Yeah, hi folks. Well, it seems to me we have hundreds of whales getting beached on our shores every year. So what can we do about it? But first, let's go and see something from a few years back. New Zealand is leading an international protest against Japan's plans to resume killing whales in the Southern Ocean. And Australia says it is considering further legal action. Prime Minister John Key said New Zealand's ambassador to Tokyo has delivered a strong formal message from, three, from 33 countries, including the United States and Australia. The Australian Foreign Minister Julia Bishop said her country would continue to raise concerns. Aust yes, that's not a nice picture. It's an ugly picture. And especially when we see this going on in our Southern Ocean. Um, but can you blame the Japanese? Uh, they have been eating whale meat for centuries. It's been their food for centuries and then suddenly the West comes along and tells them to stop it. And they have stopped and they do stop but they keep coming back simply because they have to. It's their f tradition, it's their food. So let's now go and see what's happening in New Zealand. Over the last few days, two pods beached two kilometres apart on the western side of Stewart Island at the southern end of Mason Bay, which stretches 19 kilometres end to end. John McKenzie reports. Close to 150 pilot whales spread along two kilometres of the western coast of Stewart Island. Yeah, that's not a nice picture either, is it? Not one survivor. One of our field staff headed straight down to the site. And while it was dark, he could tell there was somewhere between 100 and 200 whales. The Department of Conservation was notified on Saturday night when a tramper spotted the stranded whales. With around half already dead on discovery, the remaining ones were then euthanised. Sadly, once we were able to get in and properly assess the situation, we found many of the whales had already passed away. And with the rest of them suffering, a decision was made on humane grounds to euthanise them. It's not the first time this has happened on Stewart Island, with a similar stranding happening just seven years ago on the same coastline. Back then, 107 died, with no hope of refloating any initial survivors. The location of the whales made access very difficult. Pilot whales are prolific stranders, with around 1,000 estimated to have beached in the Chatham Islands in 1918. Each year, Doc responds to around 85 incidents, factors like extreme weather, falling tides and navigational error, just some of the reasons why. In fact, four different strandings occurred in New Zealand just over the last few days. Doc says the bodies will be left where they are, eventually floating back into the ocean. Yes, uh, that's not a nice picture at all. But it's even a worse picture to see this good food getting wasted. It goes out to sea, these whales go out to sea or they get buried. And that is just stupid. That is a complete waste of good food. Now, so what can be done about it? Well, here's a novel idea. Why doesn't the New Zealand government get together with the Japanese government and come to an agreement where we export our beach whales to them and they stop whaling in the Southern Ocean? But I guess the Greenies won't buy into that, will they? <laughs>